All right, David Harry here, and just a super quick video to inform people that DaVinci Resolve is now going to be natively compatible with Apple's ProRes RAW codec, which I just think is absolutely fantastic news because this is one of those codec variations that we've not had in Resolve ever. And I think it's one of the biggest ones that like most Resolve users will have been screaming for for a very long time. Now, this news may not be such a massive surprise to some people out there because if like me you were watching the recent Apple event you would have noticed that during the iPhone 17 Pro and Pro Max section Apple were talking about the fact that those two phones were going to be now compatible for recording ProRes RAW and of the two camera apps that were going to be immediately capable of recording ProRes RAW one of those is going to be the Blackmagic camera app so I think at that point I think that probably probably give a lot of us some really good hope that the next thing we were going to find out was then that the ProRes RAW codec was going to be supported within Resolve, which it is. Anyways, like I said, this was just going to be a very quick video just to inform people of this one cool thing, or at least I think it's a really cool thing. And this applies to the new version of 20.2 for DaVinci Resolve. That is both for the free version and also the studio version. There'll be links in the video description description below taking you to where you can go and do the downloads or the updates and stuff and on top of that as well yes i will be buying one of the new iphone 17 pros or pro maxes not too sure which one so i'm going to do some videos on using the pro res raw codec here with inside of the vinci resolve uh, workflow with my max and stuff anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now